Welcome to my channel. Today we are making fried meatballs. First, grab your ground pork. Then, add a large egg. Add salt. Add garlic powder. And lastly, add black pepper. Then mix all the ingredients together until well combined. Actually, I don't measure it I just estimate how much salt, pepper, and other seasoning will be put together. Add whatever spices you would like to fit your taste as well. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder is fine with us. Then add a heaping teaspoon of cornstarch, it will help the mixture stay together and not fall apart when cooked. Divide the ground pork mixture into equal parts, depending on how big you want your meatballs to be. I'm just using my hands to make ball shape but don't worry I was my hands properly. Take each part and roll the ground pork into a ball until you are satisfied with the shape. Fill a small pot with cooking oil, where the meatball will be partially fried. Put each meatball and turn until golden brown. When golden brown, take the meatballs out and set them on a plate. Another set of meatballs will be cooked. While well, well-made ones will be the first one to taste but we let it set for a moment. Frying is the cooking of food in oil or another fat, similar to sautéing, pan-fried foods are generally turned over once or twice or even thrice during cooking to make sure that the food is fully cooked, using tongs is my favorite thing to do, while some others are using spatula. With these meatballs better to cook in deep fry. In order for the meatballs to cook evenly, be sure to not pack the pot or pan you are using full. You want to ensure the meatballs will be evenly cooked, so spread them out. That is why I am frying them four at a time. Careful not to burn yourself, as the meatball is hot and traps hot steam inside. It is best to let it cool for a bit before digging in. You can see that the meatball is perfectly cooked. With a golden brown surface on the outside, while the inside is perfectly juicy and oozing to the mouth when bitten. Mm.
The meatballs are best served hot with a special dip. It is great for family meals where you can bond with them over the taste of food. Thank you for all my subscribers and viewers out there who are not tired of watching all my videos. You can suggest or comment on the comments section what will be the next recipe on my the next video.